Welcome back to the Educator.com Premier Pro CS6 Fundamentals course. And in this course, we're going to go over the source monitor and the program monitor. Now, these are two of the main monitors in your, in your uh, program that will let you keep track of what you're doing inside of Premier. And let me just show you, this on the left is the source monitor, and this on the right is the program monitor. Now, the first thing we're going to go over is adding and deleting buttons. Because you're probably not going to use this right away, but you should be aware that you can uh, add to these buttons, you can delete these buttons, there's all kinds of things that you can do with these buttons. And um, all of the buttons here, and you don't even have to see the buttons. You can come up here and turn off the transport controls, and you don't even see it. And you can just use uh, keyboard shortcuts for all of these buttons, because if you notice, they all have keyboard shortcuts. But let's say you want to add this export frame. Now, you might already have that on there. I might have deleted it earlier but uh, you can come here to the button editor and you have export frame here you can just click and drag that down and drop it into your set of buttons that you have and let's let's bring the safe margins into and we'll drop it down there and we'll click OK now we have our export frame and our safe margins here and let me put this on fit you can see we we can easily access the safe margins now that we have the button here so let's say you go through and you change all, a bunch of these buttons and you want to reset it you have a reset layout here but there's some of these buttons let me go through what these are just so you know you have your in and out and then you have your clear in, clear out, which is the minus sign there. You have go to in and go to out. So if you look, in is I for in. O is out. To clear the in, it's control shift I. So obviously to, con to clear the out, it would be control shift O. To go to the in, it's shift I. Go to the out, it's shift O. And then the play into out is control shift space. And let me show you what that is. Let's say I have an, an in here and an out here. And I hit control shift space. It will just play from your in point to your out point. And you see it gets to the end and it just stops. Now if you, if you have the loop on, Let's bring the loop down here. If you turn on the loop and you hit control shift space, it'll just keep playing. It'll keep playing from in to out repeatedly. And the loop is kind of good if you're if you're doing uh, you want to check and see how an effect looks. You can do the loop and it will just play it over and over again. And you can say, okay, that kind of looks okay, but maybe I want to change it. And it'll let you just keep playing the same set of, same part of the video over and over again. Like if you have a tough edit and you want to make sure it looks right, you can watch it a few times and go, okay, that looks good. Or no, I need to change it. Um, but all of these buttons you can also, let's say you don't need the loop anymore. You can just click and drag it off of the, off of the panel here. And then click OK and it's gone. Now you notice that I changed the, the buttons over here. But they did not change over here because this one has its own set of buttons. Now this one only has, uh, uh, two extra buttons that aren't available over here. And those are the, the, uh, insert and the overwrite. 
you have it over here insert and overwrite there's insert and there's overwrite here and it also has lift and extract that are only available on this one because it's only needed on this one this this panel shows you what's in your timeline here this panel will show you whatever this file is here whatever you have selected here so the only one you need for the um, the program sequence the only reason you would have lift and extract is if you're taking stuff off of your timeline because you can get video up here and you can send it to this timeline with uh, overlay or insert overwrite or insert but you can't lift and extract from the source monitor it's just not going to work because it's not actually dealing with the clip itself it's only dealing with a reference to the clip and this is dealing with what's actually on your timeline right now so those are the only two that are available just in the program monitor um, some other things here we went over the playhead position and this is the um, that duration of the in and out so if I remove the in and out you will see that it went to 28 seconds and two frames if I put another in there and an out here you'll see that it goes down to only 614 and I'm just right clicking on this to clear in and out you can just go to clear in or clear out but I just clear in and out and um, over here you can also get rid of the transport controls if you want to so there's the adding and deleting buttons most likely after you've been using it for a while you will go back and set the buttons that you want to set um, right now I just want you to be aware that you can add and delete buttons there and where they're available and they all have a, a tooltip so if you hover over them it will tell you what the, what it is so let's